And a Bay Area family fighting for their daughter's right to use medical cannabis in school. They say it's necessary to treat her rare disease. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. The Santa Rosa girl is about to start kindergarten, but a ban on cannabis could keep her out of the classroom. KPI X5's Betty Yu on the battle now playing out in court. Three. Three. Four. Four. Brooke Adams likes to play like any other five-year-old, but she's also battling a rare form of epilepsy known as Dravet syndrome. It causes frequent seizures. <laughs> this is video the family shared of Brooke. She used to experience up to 30 seizures a month, sometimes as many as six a day. That's before she started using cannabis oil. Cannabis has changed our lives um, her first couple of years, she was in and out of the hospitals uh, for extensive periods of time, uh, intubated, having a tube down her throat. But since she started using cannabis oil daily, Brooke can go about 10 days without experiencing a seizure. But her medication is also preventing her from going to school. The Rincon Valley Union School District does not allow students to use cannabis-based oils on campus because of state and federal rules. As an alternative, it proposed homeschooling for Brooke. Fundamentally, what this is about is a child who needs to both go to school and have access to the medication that saves her life. The family's attorney presented their arguments at a state hearing today. The case highlights legal challenges prohibiting medical marijuana in schools. Well, under federal law, cannabis is treated the same as heroin. Uh, it's a Schedule One controlled substance, and so essentially they're just citing to general federal prohibition for cannabis generally and saying that that would be the basis that the federal government could use to essentially uh, withdraw their funding. Under federal law, Joe Rogaway says the school must accommodate Brooks' medical needs. We go through so much to take care of my daughter, to get all the needs taken care of, and then having to fight for her right to go to school is is beyond reasonable. Under a temporary ruling from a judge, Brooke will be able to start kindergarten at Village Elementary next month, and she will get the medical cannabis that she needs. But all that can change once the ruling comes down. It is expected sometime in September. In Santa Rosa, Betty Yu, KPIX 5. We reached out to the school district for comment, but have not heard back.